Bioshock Infinite is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Bioshock. So, man, first three episodes were wild. Uh, if anything, I'm sorry to make you guys wait uh, as long as you had to wait to catch this fourth episode. Now, there's going to be a few things that you notice real quick that are, that are probably different. The HUD is actually a little bit bigger. One of the things that bothered me was that the uh, subtitles were super de duper small. And uh, there's no setting on the PC version to change the subtitle size. Which I find a little odd. But you can dig into the files and change the overall HUD size, which will change the subtitle size. So I made the subtitles a little bit bigger, which in turn also made the HUD a little bit bigger. More than likely, this is probably what it looked like if you played it on console back in the day. Um, and that's fine by me. Uh, if at any point I decide it's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, I can tweak it, and uh, that's fine. The other thing is that there's a chance that the money that I have on my person or the ammo that I have in my guns could be a little bit off. And that's because, and I think I mentioned this, but Bioshock Infinite does not have a manual save function. So every time I stop a recording session, um, it's going to take me back a ways. Which is unfortunate, but it's just kind of the way it is. So I had to, I had to do, redo a few minutes to get back here to start this next session. And one final thing before we jump into this episode. Um, this next little recording session is going to be kind of big, and that's just because, uh, you know, Dan's going out of town for the holidays. I want to make sure he has, you know, plenty of stuff to, that he can get done so he can enjoy the time with his family, so I can enjoy the time with my family. So this will be a little bit longer than... Um, you know, most that we do, but that's all right. I've read all of your comments for the first three episodes, and I feel very prepared to uh, to move forward. One of the biggest tips was just um, making sure I use possession on the vending machines, which is something I hadn't even really considered. Let's walk around here and just carefully look at everything there is to see, and also flush all the toilets. Just kind of hoping that would work. Apple. So I've got, th yeah, I got 333 silver eagles. I'm not sure how many I had. Phonograph doesn't do anything. Otis works up at the lodge part time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies, and I know for sure there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing. All right, this is uh, one other thing you guys told me about. Um, take my time in each area because uh, there's a lot of uh, getting locked out of areas. You can't backtrack, you can't return. So um, one of the things apparently that's a recurring theme in the game is that there's these chests and they can't be opened without keys. So sometimes it says optional quests give you an opportunity to find valuable resources. So we may find the key much later. And we'll have to backtrack to come get this chest, but it's apparently well worth it. To which I say, uh, sounds good. So currently my, my objective is open, uh, go to Monument Isle. But I can also, can I set this as an objective? No, it's just always on, okay. It also made a lot, the, uh, changing the HUD size is actually kind of a good thing because it made a lot of other things good. I'm a progressive. O okay. Does that mean you're not gonna shoot at me? Because the only thing that really matters to me right now is who is and isn't shooting at me. It's nice to know that there are just going to be straight up civilians. I'm also gonna take stuff. Um, I was told that stealing will appear in red text, so apparently I'm, a, I'm legally allowed to have that uh, that silver bar. Okay. Um, I think we're good down here. Have a good day, sir. So I came into this house, and I explored this house, but this wasn't actually the way I was supposed to go. Oh. Well, I'm glad I came this way, because this was apparently optional. Where was I supposed to go? Oh, I can dismount over there. Oh! I see. Well then, let's frickin' do it. Are we good? Is everything cool again? 
I guess so. I guess things have calmed down. You never know what you're gonna find when you open up your leather box tomorrow. God, even though things are uh, bad, I'm getting shot at, and also uh, there's <laughs> some other <laughs> problems in Colombia. Still a beautiful city. Still a beautiful city. Let's go inside. The Montgomery residence. Consider not shooting first. Answer. As much as I support her cause and her people, the blood must not be shed. What do you expect these poor Negroes to do? How they treat them? It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. <gasps> you're, you're cool. The one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! We're in need of your assistance. They're here! Shh. Keep your voice down. Are they gonna, like, bust in? This is crazy. Is there a vending machine in this room? <laughs> vending machines sell all types of- I'm like, okay, is there one in here? Oh, man! <gasps> they're Oh my god, they're keeping them safe. Maybe. I guess, based on how they were talking? I didn't catch every single thing they said, but it sounded like they're keeping... They're keeping them safe? Maybe. I hope I didn't miss a very key thing that was said, and it's like, no, actually, they're slaves, and I'm like, oh, God. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, the police also never came in. There's some, I, and I'm allowed to have all this, so this is mine. I've been told that money uh, is particularly difficult to come by in Infinite. And I should uh, take it. Let's see. Also, based on this, I think I had it. I think I had it right. Until they are equal, none of us are equal. So yeah, they must be like, I guess they're, I guess they're in hiding, which would make sense. Also, I feel bad to take the money out of these people's home, but also like, sorry, I just, I need money. I just need money. It's nothing personal. Is there anything else in this house? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Oh man, they're like printing, they're printing a ton of these. Okay, I came in and went to the right. I'm just gonna... Y'all got anything to eat? And by eat, I mean money. We good? We good. I gotta keep an eye out for that key, too. I, I think the game wants me to go this way, but I really just want to go in here and shoot. Oh, the game doesn't want me to... Alright, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay safe. You're doing, you're doing good work here. That guy works for me. The crap. Careful, careful. Big boom. There's like stuff being launched off, man. You know what? Give me the other gun. There's a lot of guys. Oh, that's probably... That's what I'm hearing. Jesus. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, God, they're in here, too? Certainly you wouldn't come into someone's home, right? The answer to that is uh, they definitely would. Oh, God. It's hot in here! Yeah. Yeah. Woo -wee. Holy crap! Y'all okay? Sorry, that was a little close for comfort. The shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations. Or will you act? Act for your women folk. Act for your prophet. Act. 
Holy Jesus. Okay. So that was nuts. Everybody dead? Everybody good and dead now? See, these firefights just kind of pop up out of nowhere. Oh, God. Hey, a crate. I definitely don't want my, uh, my shield to, to run out and then run out of, uh, run out of health. It definitely seems like, of the two, shield, because it regenerates and health does not, is the more valuable thing. Alright, so let's, uh, this is a vending machine, let's possess this. Oh, wow. Oh, I absolutely should do this. Dang. And it'll also give me better prices in case I need anything here. What do I need? Honestly, nothing. Not, not a darn thing. I'm good. Like, staying up on salt could be good, but, like, I've been finding it everywhere, too, so... The areas are big. Does this go anywhere? No. Okay. Alright, and there's no stamina meter, so you're basically allowed to sprint wherever you'd like. Which is nice. Anything I miss over here? No. There's a box of phone. Cop shot came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just... He just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the wild ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now it's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope he don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> The way he trails off at the end is particularly creepy. Uh, uh, there's, uh, there is so much to see. Like, good God. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting is that uh, there's no map. Like, all the, all the previous uh, Bioshock games featured a map, and it was... You basically could assure yourself that you weren't going to miss anything, and that's gone. So it's it there's a there's a huge incentive to just be extra thorough. Extra extra thorough. And like I know I'm going to come back this way if I if I find this key cuz I want to get in that chest. But even so, it's like I want to be very very careful of everything. It's like I cleared out this area and now there's creepily no one around. I took them all out. Okay. I saw a uh, a trash can over here probably wants me to head that direction. Seems good. And of course, there's always a chance, too, that I, j you know, I just simply won't be able to locate everything, and that's fine. But if I can, I'm certainly going to try. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for wherever this, uh, this key could be. Alright, I guess you want me going here. Comstock fights the Serpent of Nations. Well, that's, you know, that's just like your opinion, man. Animus Patria Nostra Defendere. Fraternal Order of the Raven. A little creepy out here. What's up, birds? Order of the Raven. Actually, very creepy. Apples. Uh, an immense amount of, uh, bird poop. Cool. Don't need salts. There's nothing really in this room. John Wilkes Booth! Oh! <laughs> I was like, huh! That seems like an odd choice, and then I was thinking about it, I was like, wait, no, not really! <laughs> I was like, huh, why would, why would they like the guy who killed Lincoln? Uh, it, hmm. Took me just an extra second to put two and two together there. So, uh... Excuse me, sir. We got him! Okay, you're bad. I mean, cool, I... Oh, shoot. I thought I could just talk to... You know, it was like, hey, violence isn't always the answer. So I was like, I believe you. I absolutely believe you. 
But of course, you know, in this case, it was actually the answer. I was supposed to kill. So I did. Oh, the deposit box. Snap, son. I keep taking this 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 cash. There's stuff everywhere. A lot of um a lot of alcohol, which is basically the same as the um the other Bioshock titles. A few other things that are new. I think probably me shooting the gun got everybody's attention. So, like, they're either protecting our... Oh, so that's what you do. Um, unknown booze. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, box phone. And when the angel Columbia gave on to the founders the tools to build a new Eden, they did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. All right, so that's it for downstairs. Let's go upstairs. Still trying to keep an eye open for this, uh, this key. For God and country. And so, the prophet led us into Pesci, where we demonstrated to the sodom below the true mission our founders have given us. And when the madmans and hypocrites of Washington betrayed him, did not heal. He did not come crawling for their forgiveness. Like our father's broke with the great apostate. Our prophet broke with these so-called patriots. And today is the day we celebrate this secession. Something tells me this guy's not gonna be my friend. Yeah, okay. Throw some fire down there and see where we get to. Oh, God. Oh, my God! That actually worked incredibly well. Woo! I really love whenever the, the you kill someone that there's, like, a, like a loud, like, smash of the uh, piano. God, I killed a lot of people there. When they were flooding down the hallway, I was a little concerned, but like, dang, firebombs helped. And some of them are burnt pretty bad as a result. Um, man, I wish I could say I feel bad. I just, no, I don't. I just don't. There's something down there. Oh, Wiggly. That guy was named Crow. I think. Presumably because he was covered in crows? Call it a hunch. Run over here and see if there's anything over here before I head downstairs. Yeah, some of this. I've done a pretty good job of staying alive, so I'm happy about that. Just continuing to be careful. Huh. There's a voxophone here, too. Pick up key to the chest. Well, heck yeah, baby. Happy about that. And then there's infusion. Increases maximum health. Oh man, it's it's uh, leveling up in Super Mario RPG. All right, so here's how I see it. Health is instinctively not as good as shield. It's just not. Shield regenerates, and it's your first line of defense over health, which doesn't regenerate. Which means health is actually, I mean, from my limited perspective of the game, the worst upgrade you could probably give yourself. Either shield or salts makes more sense. Shield if you want more defense, and salts if you want more, well, 
da like if you want to be able to output more damage. Um, my shield seems really small right now, so I think I'm going to give myself shield. I'm assuming I'm going to get more of these as the game goes on. I'm going to give myself shield at the beginning. If I had more salts, I'd probably play with them more too. Perfect. Yeah, I got a little bit bigger. All right, so before I proceed, I'm going to backtrack immediately. And while I listen to this... What exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread. From the nobility of honest work. From wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave. From clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Mention the location there. Finkton? I think it was. If you remember that uh, I have to listen to the, the audio subtitles, you guys can read them because Dan's adding them in post. Finkton, I think. Also, can use this now. Oh yeah, full of that juice. Full of that juice. Okay, uh, I won't make you watch all of this. I'll just have Dan, you know, cut me back. Oh man, they re-enter the area. God, okay. Dang, okay, so you have to refight your way through areas. So if you want these chests, you gotta work for it. Guess what though? I do want the chests and I'm willing to work. Well, I backtracked quite a ways, but I got here. It's another infusion! Oh my god, yeah! Wow, that was worth it! Holy crap! Okay, um... Dang. I wasn't expecting to get more... So, I want to find out how much extra salts this gives me. Wow, it's just an extra hit. Dang. That's... Okay, that's pretty good. Also increase my salt and my health, which I don't need to do. But yeah, okay, yes, that was definitely worth backtracking. I will uh, be doing more of that in the future. All right, I'm back to uh, to where I was. So this door is open. Let's proceed. And this takes us. Mostly after one o'clock this afternoon, the scoundrel, believed now by many to be Vox Populi, began his terrible rampage. Trouble began almost instantly. Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian peacemakers before then arming himself and firing into an assemblage of virtuous fair-goers. As of this hour, he is considered wholly responsible for causing at least eight God-fearing Colombians to meet their maker in heaven. He is considered brimming with danger and evil intent, and we implore you not to tempt ruination by facing him without aid of Colombia's finest. Now, back to the music. So you probably saw the subtitles actually went off screen a little bit there. Yeah, that's one of the weird things, is that, like, it'll scale them up, but it <laughs> it may put them off screen. But I don't think I'd make them any bigger than this. I would only make them maybe a tiny bit smaller. So down we go. Where we stop, who knows. I understand. Protecting your race, protecting your race. So uh, I definitely need to keep doing this. This is just free, free cash. Thanks. You got a ton of money. Uh, health kits, health kits, health kits. Ammo, 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 ammo. I'm already carrying most of this. I'm carrying full of this. Yeah, I don't need any of this. Sorry. Just don't. I'm going to keep getting my cash up. I'm kind of curious if there's a max you can hold. Okay, give me this, give me these, give me all these little things, money everywhere. Is that uh, Father Comstock? See anything else of interest here? Huh. This is a little too obvious. Creepy. 
Okay, um... I'm not sure if that's, like, the last thing I gotta go do. Let's go look over here first. God, there's frickin' ravens everywhere. It's... I mean, I, I'm cool with it, but they're also freaking me out, man. Just a little bit. A lot of machine gun ammo. That's what I mean, like... I haven't really had to buy anything. Sweet mother of Columbia. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword. So that we might avenge you. We worship the raven. So that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin. Because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. Gear? Gear is special clothing that grants you unique abilities. You can only wear four pieces at a time, one per type. Manage your gear from the gameplay menu. New pants. Urgent care. Decrease shield recharge delay by one second. Increase shield recharge rate by two. That seems real good. So I'm assuming I'm, like, automatically wearing that. Cool. Okay, so this is how they're, they, they do passive tonics in Infinite. Interesting. It's so cool that, like, so many of the elements has moved to this game just slightly differently. Just a little bit different. And here's my weapons. I don't have these, obviously. And Vigors I don't have yet either. But we're still working towards Monument Island, and we will continue working next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays Bioshock Infinite.